Yeah, that was the budget that we had. Um, I spent four days on the film in total, and that was a mixture of um, filming outside, filming with uh, the director, who's the cameraman, and the producer, who's also the sound. Um, so that, in a way, felt, I guess, would be quite alien to most of the film world. But for me, I felt that uh, there was a great freedom with that because you kind of felt like there wasn't anyone around and it wasn't a film set, so you were sort of very much in the moment. And with Floris, the way he directed it and the way he approached it, it was very much like that. He said, uh, you know, don't rehearse it. We never rehearsed any of our scenes. So when we met other actors who we had our scene with, we were meeting for the first time as our characters were. So that brought a sense of realism uh, to the piece, I think. Well, they mean a lot because it's sort of showing that you don't need huge budgets to make a good piece of entertainment. You can literally go out there, especially with the digital age that we live in now, there are so many um, talented filmmakers and actors who are really, really struggling to get into the industry as I am myself. I consider myself one of those actors. I, I'm looking to be into film and television, but through the sources of the media of what you have, you're kind of limited because it is a bit of a circle and that circle is at times very, very hard to get into. So with these independent films, you have more of a chance and more of an escapism of getting in there. And I think that's wonderful that this organization is um, representing that and acknowledging young filmmakers and young talent and young actors as well. I think the studios are probably thinking, let's have that person in our next Marvel movie. That's what I'm hoping they're saying, <laughs> pretty much. I don't actually think that, it, um, that it's going to bother studios, you know, because studios, they own, you know, they get, they get asses on seats. And with 3D movies, they're always going to be winning. But I think it's, I think it's sort of a, a colossal effect to movies in general. So when you have independent films, some do come from absolute nothing. Ours came pr pretty much from nothing. And then other films get a little bit of budgeting through those big movies that are hitting the summer blockbusters and all that. So I really see it as more of a, a collective group as opposed to a kind of, our movie's better than yours because we made it with nothing. I don't really see it in that manner. I think every single audience has a different perspective and a different, um, a different enjoyment of different styles of film. So I don't see it as a, as a battle as such, more as just a, a welcoming, really.